y'all and welcome back to my channel so today's video i have planned um i'm gonna be talking about my experience and some tips i would give out to myself prior to when i did move out just some things that i would have wish i kept in mind so i hope that this video is able to help y'all and y'all are able to um you know kind of learn not from my mistakes but you know what I'm trying to you know what I'm trying to say this first half of the video is just going to be me explaining my experience and how it was for me moving out at 19 because it is kind of a young age bro just like move bye you in my video okay anyway let's just get right into this video so I am currently 20 years old and I do live in Dallas Texas um, I know the expense the expenses of living in Dallas is a lot cheaper than as for example if you were to move to LA or if you're living in a more known city but Dallas is actually known for a good place to live and the expenses of living and etc but don't beat yourself up about it if you're not ready to move out at such a young age um, I was just ready I had a good job that was paying me well that um, gave me the opportunity to be able to move out and become fully independent. I have always been independent though. Um, I started working as a waitress when I was 16. Um, yeah, so I've always been independent. I've always paid my own bills. Uh, don't get me wrong, I have, I lived with my dad when I was younger and then I had the help of my mom as well. But I never liked them to just hand me things or give me things without me working for it. I never liked to be handed things. Um, I always worked for what I had and um, what I got now. So yeah, that just kind of explains how I was able to move at 19 because honestly also it's a mindset. So if you're not in the right state of mind and you're not telling yourself, oh, I can do this. Like I have this responsibility now. I need to be on my if you're not mentally in that state of mind, you're going to be overwhelmed and it's gonna be kind of a fail because you're not ready yet. So yeah, let's just get on to my experience. I moved out in September of 2019. I was 19 at the time. Um, like I said, I did have a good paying job that was able to help me get to the point of me being able to move out. It was on such short notice though so me and my i actually did have a roommate when i did move out so um we were talking about it in july and we made the move on september 14th so we didn't have much time it was just like honestly i feel like everybody has that urge like right before you move out you have that urge to want to move out it's like you have that idea it's like bam boom boom you just want to make it happen already because you have that mindset you're just like i'm ready to move out like you just want to get things done. I think one thing that I messed up is I rushed too soon. I'm not going to say I rushed too soon to move out at the age that I did. I'm more so talking about I rushed to um, get an apartment. I really didn't do enough research. I was trying to move out of the city that I was currently living in. So I moved about 40 minutes from the city that I was living in. And... Um, it was a more expensive city. Me just trying to be bougie and trying to get away from people and blah, blah, blah. I guess just be not be around what I'm normally used to and there's nothing wrong with that because I did it and I loved it. Um, it was a new experience, but honestly, I feel like if I would have just stayed around the, or you know, the city that I did I used to live in was a good area. And it wasn't expensive, as expensive as the area that I did move to. So there is nothing wrong with just staying in the same area. And like, you don't even have to be around the people that you are normally used to seeing. Like, we're grown. We're not, we're not going to school every day. We're not going to the same functions. Well, at least I'm not. I'm not going to the same functions as everybody else. So honestly, if you were, if I was to just have stayed in that same city um, that I grew up in, I would have been fine because then it would have been a lot cheaper for me it was nice um i did get the freedom that i wanted 
I'm not gonna say I didn't have freedom living with my parents, but of course you have to obey their rules and go under what they want, you know, be home at a certain time, let them know where you're going, why are you leaving? I'm a very, like I said, I grew up being independent. I am an only child at home. So I don't like being told what to do. Um, I'm a very like, I know what I'm doing type of person. Of course, I, not gonna say I know everything, but I have a good head on my shoulders and I would say I am good. You know, I don't need people telling me what I don't need to do and what I do need to be doing. So um, a reason for me moving out so soon was because I just felt like I was ready. I already was paying some of my bills. I knew that the money that I was making at my job, I was gonna be able to pay the expenses that I have with an apartment. I did make out a budget list. So I would recommend doing that. Get like a notebook and kind of list out like, okay, if you get your nails done every month, how much are your nails? How much is your water? How much is your electric? How much is your rent? How much is your insurance for your car and etc. List all that. She won't let me be great. But yeah, list all that out. It's not gonna be exact. Of course, you're gonna spend more money on food this month, less money on food this month. Maybe you don't get your nails done this month, but kind of just do an estimate of what you think would be your um, average a month and see if what you make a month with your job is enough for you to move out. I be having so many thoughts. I be getting off track as to what I'm talking about. Um, but what was I saying? So yeah, I did get the freedom that I wanted. Of course, with freedom comes responsibilities. So I did know once I moved out, I was going to have to pay a lot of more things by myself, but I knew I was prepared because I had did the budget list. It is currently uh, July of 2020. I did end up moving out my first apartment and now I am on my second apartment. I live by myself now. Yeah, that was my experience and I'm just gonna talk about some tips. So some tips I would say is save some money before you move out. I would say at least have four months of rent in your savings plus um, an extra thousand. Of, like a, say in case for a month you get sick, worst case scenario, it is so important to have money saved up before you move out. I mean, by all means, I'm not telling you you have to, but I promise you it would be more beneficial and I promise you it's going to come in handy because like right now with this whole pandemic and what's going on, I feel like if I didn't have money saved, I kind of would have been in a drought. Like I would have been f***ed up. Like <laughs> I would have been in a pickle for real. That is super important to save your money. Save as much as you can before you move out, before you decide to move out. Also, I'm a girl, I'm pretty, uh, guys as well. You want luxuries, you want your nails done, you wanna get your fade, you want your toes done, you wanna be able to go shopping for the new seasons, some new shoes come out, you wanna be able to buy. Make sure you are good for those type of things because you don't wanna be living from paycheck to paycheck. You don't wanna be living from paycheck to paycheck because then you're just gonna be literally working and then coming home and you don't have any time to go out or have any free time. So you wanna be able to enjoy your life and have your other luxuries. Another thing I would recommend or a tip that I would give is to have furniture ready before you move in. So have the money set aside for the furniture that you wanna buy so that by the time you move in, you either have it already being delivered or you already have it ready to move in because i would say for my first time moving into an apartment i'm just gonna be honest and blunt i didn't have a bed frame until december so i was sleeping on my mattress for, for a good three months before i could get my bed frame um and have decorations in my room and etc because i just was moved in quick we were ordering furniture um i would say the one thing that was ordered was our couch and then once we got our couch um we kind of just went from like there the color, color scheme but i would say if you could it is super important that you can um kind of get your furniture beforehand because it'll save you a whole lot of time and you can have your stuff set up and feel more comfortable at, at your own home if you know what i'm saying since you want your attention so bad, say hey girl, since you want your little, your little shine.
<laughs> Let your mama film, girl. Anyway, personally, I would say living by myself is a better experience. Um, just because of the type of person I am. I know some people that, like, for example, in New York City, um, you can, like, go on a certain website and kind of request, like, to live with roommates. And then you live with, like, four other people in this home. But personally, I just couldn't. Um, if I moved in with somebody, it would have to be, like, my boyfriend or somebody I'm really close to. But even at that, it's like there's pros and cons to that. So, yeah, for me, I feel like just the type of person I am, the way I was raised. Of course, like I said earlier, I was raised an only child at home. So, yeah, I was just always more used to being alone. So, if you are so used to being alone and then you go live with two other people or however many people, it's going to be a lot for you and you're not going to be comfortable. So, I would just suggest it just kind of depends on the type of person you are and how you grew up and etc. Another tip I would say is also try to save as much money as you can even with you moving out. It might not be as much as you could used to save when you lived with your parents or lived with whoever you used to live with and you didn't have as many bills. But even if it's $200 a month, save that because I promise you, you want to still be able to work towards something like yes you have your apartment now now you're gonna want to work towards getting your house you want to work towards getting a new car um you want to work towards investing into something that's going to pursue your future so it's very important that you save money even when you move out that's why i'm saying if you're going to move out make sure your financial criteria meet your living and what you want to do and like everything else that comes with it because or else you're just going to be overwhelmed and you're going to be living and literally you're gonna go to work come home that was in my situation because i made sure that i was good before i moved out but like i said i know the urge to want to move out it's like you want to it's the, it's like the thrill you get to have your own apartment you get to decorate you get your freedom you get to bring over who you want but you want to make sure you're good so you can be able to do that and you want to move out you can stay out of your parents or whoever's house you originally came from there is nothing wrong with moving out and going back to your parents house though don't get me wrong I, even if it did fail about you moving out at least you know what went down how everything goes so the next time around you know what to prepare yourself for and what to be ready for so don't let people tell you just because you live with your parents it's not right i promise you there is nothing wrong with that y'all nothing wrong with living with your parents you just need to make sure you're ready oh and another thing talking about that if you're planning to move out because if you're watching this video maybe you're planning to move out at this age or that age and um or you just wanted to watch this video but um, when you move out you're going to have family members friends people telling you don't do it you're not ready if you are ready in your mind and you think you can do it and you have you know broken everything down to yourself you have thought about it then you do it do it sis do it whoever da, 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 da. just do it because at the end of the day who's gonna be taking care of you you okay exactly stop going off of other people's opinions even though yes maybe they were right okay so what you live and you learn you get to say that you experienced moving out at that age you can say you experienced about uh, other people can't say the same and even if it did fail you move back with your parents okay and give yourself a couple years so then you can move out again and you'll do it right the next time around but yeah um that's all i have for you know the experience of me moving out at 19 i hope this video was useful and helpful to y'all if you want to do something and you feel like you're ready for it go for it it might be scary but it's gonna be so worth it in the long run and it's going to be super beneficial to you and your life um i wouldn't say i regret it because i think that i've came so far it has made me mature a lot and I've had some fun times. I got the experience. Um, I'm still learning though, of course. But yeah, um, if you wanna do it, do it, go for it. Just make sure you straight. And I hope the tips that I gave um, y'all will use because I promise they will come in handy. But yeah, thank y'all so much.
much for watching this week's video. It means the most to me. I am at currently 94 subscribers, I believe, the last time I checked. So if y'all can get me to 100 or even more, I'll be so grateful. I just hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if y'all would like to see more from me, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, like this video and then comment other ideas that you'd like to see from me my apartment tour is going to come soon or, or later i promise i'm going to do it i just want to make sure i have everything that i want or close to everything that i want in my apartment before i just go show a bland and you know not so cute and aesthetic apartment but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next week bye